Okay, um, hey, what's up, everybody? So, I've got to say, with Sony having all these problems with it being hacked, and people saying Marvel and this and uh, Sony are trying to break a, a agreement to say that Spider-Man might be able to go to uh, Marvel and they and then Sony might be able to get some um, money or something off of that. And I've got to say, this doesn't really seem like a good idea to me, because remember back when they when there was all the and when it said like give Spider Wolverine and X Men back to Sony, I mean Marvel, back when um, X Men three and as well as Wolverine, people stopped saying that though when the fir when X Men First Class and as well as Days of Future Past happen. No one says, "Oh, X Men should go back to uh, Marvel because of do 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 this and blah 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 that and X Y and B." So, one of the main reasons that people don't say that is because both First Class and Days of Future Past were good films and basically were able to say, "Hey, we we know we messed up with." Wolverine, X-Men, Origins, Wolverine, so we're gonna give him this shot, and here's these two new films that did well, so even, even though a lot of people didn't like, um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, there are some people who liked it, I mean, I kind of like it, it's not, but I mean, I'll say it's not the best thing, but I kind of liked it. And there's problems with it, but yeah. Uh, I've got to say that if Sony does and is able to make a The Sinister Six and it's done well and it's good, and it's basically, say, similar to, say, X Men First Class sort of situation where basically everyone thinks, wait, we were mad about the previous film? Well, maybe they, maybe. Venom or say the Century Six film will basically basically make people say, "Hey, we were wrong to say that Sony doesn't know what the heck they're doing." And yeah, it either takes one good film for or two good films for people to say, "Hey, you're doing well with Spider-Man. You can keep holding on to him," and blah blah blah. But a lot of people are saying that. I mean, this is just a rumor, but I've got to say, why why get rid of Andrew Garfield? Why replace him with a new actor? I mean, understand that people may not like him, and probably what people are just saying, like, oh no, we want Tobey Maguire, but we well, can't have Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire's probably a bit, it probably wouldn't want to do it anymore, and... Andrew Garfield is still young enough to be able to do the character and still not feel like he's getting old from, like, you know, like, say, oh, his portrayal of Spider-Man has gotten bland or something. I mean, he's only done it for two films. Why say that the, pro the problem of oh, Spider-Man, uh, making Spider-Man 2 was his problem? Because if it was then there would be a problem, but most of the problem with Amazing Spider-Man 2 was the, script, was the script, as well as Sony saying, hey, hey, you know what you should put in here, you know what you should put in here, Mark Webb, you should put in um, one character, the one character who we won't get developed well, make, put Rhino in, put Rhino in. It's mostly been safe from, like, basically the companies saying, hey, we, we don't feel feel like this is going to get enough attention, so we want you to put things in. And, yeah. The director, Mark Webb, hasn't really been able to, like, give his, give his all. He hasn't been able to say, hey, I'm doing this. You need to respect my decision and just trust me with what I'm doing and what characters I'm using. You don't need to say... You don't need to tell me what how to do my job, because if you don't like what I'm doing, then you can just replace me. Because I feel like that's what 
how they feel about Mark Graham. I feel like Zane's just saying, well, we want this film to do well, but, and we like what you do with the first film, but we want you to try these characters. N no, no. Let the writer and the director do their vision of what they're trying to do. You don't need to tell the, tell peop the director and the producer and everyone else say, hey, you need to have this or you can't do the film. That's not how you do it. You have to have one person who knows how they feel, how they feel that what is basically going to happen. You need to have, say, someone similar to, say, Kevin Feige to just say, hey, this is what's going on. This is the character. This is what happens. No X, Y, H, or no, this is the plan. This is going to happen. No zigzagging or going crazy of all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, this is just what's my thoughts about all these Sony and Spider-Man problems or slash rumors that are going around. What do you guys think about all the Sony, all these Sony, Sony stuff, as well as Spider-Man? Do you think it's crazy, or do you think basically Sony's realized that they need they need to give up and just give Sony, I mean Marvel, back Spider-Man? Which probably wouldn't work without work well with Marvel, and we wouldn't get another Spider-Man film in a really long time. So, what are your guys' thoughts?